Good evening, everyone. We're reading Robert Greene's The Daily Law. Today is January the 29th, and the title is Become Who You Are. Some 2,600 years ago, the ancient Greek poet Pindar wrote, Become who you are by learning who you are. What he meant is the following. You are born with a particular makeup and tendencies that mark you as a piece of fate. It is who you are to the core. Some people never become who they are. They stop trusting in themselves. They conform to the tastes of others and they end up wearing a mask that hides their true nature. Daily Law. If you allow yourself to learn who you really are by paying attention to that voice and force within you, then you can become what you were fated to become, an individual, a master. So in talking with my daughter tonight, we were talking about the mask that people wear and how if they wear them so long that it takes away their authenticity. Like they really act so phony all the time that like, do they even know who they really are because they're acting so phony and it's it becomes this mess that they wear all the time and it's got to be so painful to pretend constantly to be perky and happy when you're hurting inside to not let your emotions out. But becoming who you are and who you really are inside is so integral and important to what your journey and your path responds to. That's the best way I can take it. I can explain it. Like, if you can't be who you are inside, then it kind of just makes you feel heavy and, like, anxious all the time, which has also been a theme. We've been, me and my kids were talking about this heaviness, and this anxiety that's in the air, this, like, it's like it makes you feel tight, you know, in your chest, like you can't breathe. And I guess, you know, everybody's kind of stressing. It's the beginning of the year and it's going by fast and money and this and that. So, but it just, it feels different. It feels like something thicker is in the air, but y'all have a good night and enjoy the journey while becoming who you are. Join me tomorrow. We'll do it again.